What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy in person. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. I want to encourage you with something. Stop focusing on all the negative things that are happening in your life. Stop focusing on all the negative circumstances that you've been going through. Instead, this year, here's what I want you to do. I want you to start focusing on your goals. Focus on your vision, okay? And I promise you, you're going to be successful not only in this game, but also in life. Go get it. So today we cooked up something very interesting for you guys, all right? You know, we haven't seen one of these videos out there, so we appreciate the love and the feedback on this one, okay? So the video is gonna go as follows. We're gonna be asking you guys 12 questions about some of your favorite pro players out there. And we're gonna have you guys analyze them for yourselves. So make sure you guys also tally down your score just to see how it fares. So right before that, all right, we know you guys are so anxious to get into this video, and so am I, all right, we're about to do that, but we gotta do the question of the day. Today's question is, what is your favorite game outside of Fortnite? Let us know in the comments down below, so curious to see what you guys are gonna say. And one last thing, all right, have you ever watched a pro like Benji, Mongrel, or even Lefty, and thought like, man, I wish I was that good? Well, if you have, you're in luck, my friends, because all three of these players have worked with us to create courses on ProGuys.com to help us all improve, all right? On top of all of this, we have a ton of other courses from some of the most knowledgeable players in the entire world. And on top of all of that, we offer 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys become a Fortnite legend. If any of this is awesome <laughs> to you, then you gotta head on over to ProGuys.com and you gotta get it started today. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy in the entire world. Come on now, say it loud. It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. The first question is, my friends, on which date did Fortnite Battle Royale first come out as free to play? Hmm. We have A, July 19th, 2010, B, September 26th, 2017, C, October 10th, 2017, or D, March 12th, 2018. We're gonna give you guys five seconds and then we're gonna tell you. All right guys, so the correct answer is B. September 26th of 2017. Save the World released quite a bit earlier, but the Battle Royale version of the game became public and free to play on September 26th of 2017. If you got this one, give yourself a point and don't lie either. You gotta be honest. All right, next up, we're gonna be moving on to number two. When did Ninja, all right, one of Fortnite's biggest streamers announce his move to Mixer? We have A, September 20th, 2019. B. August 1st, 2019. C, August 8th, 2019. I like to mix it up. And D, October 10th, 2019. We're gonna give you five seconds and then we're gonna reveal the answer. The correct answer, my friends, for this one was B, August 1st of 2019. Ninja streamed on Twitch almost every single day until this day, right? When he announced his exclusive streaming deal with Microsoft's Mixer platform, leading his 14 million Twitch followers and thousands of subscribers to a brand new platform to watch this guy play. Wow. All right, guys, moving on to number three. Let's move back into Fortnite chapter one. You ready? With the release of season four, which one of these locations received major changes? A, Moisty Meyer. B, Lucky Landing. C, Dusty Depot or D, Hunted Hills. Five seconds. The answer is C, Dusty Depot. Okay, which got destroyed and replaced with Dusty Divot. Honestly, I love Dusty Depot, I really did. But the Divot being added was a pretty fun change. And the new location mixed with the storyline changes and you know, who can forget the beloved Hop Rocks, man. The new season which is shaping up to be a really great one. And I personally really enjoyed every second of season four. Boy, those were the good old days. All right, guys, but now it's time for the nostalgia trip, all right? We've got a darn quiz to do here. Let's do it. Which of these Fortnite duos won first place and $510,000 in the Fall Skirmish Grand Finals? A, Tifu and Cloxy. B, Zexro and Vinny. C, Snood and Thawaifo. Or D, Clix and Kanata. This one's pretty easy. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this one is A, Tifu and Cloxy. However, if you chose Zexro and Vinny, 
you weren't too far off, they did pull off third place, also securing a pretty nice wad of cash themselves. You know, some people say that the fall skirmish was the main reason Tifu blew up like he did and became one of Fortnite's all-time greats. You know, whether you agree or not, you know, one thing is for sure, all right? This duo was absolutely nuts, man, and will definitely go down in history as one of the best duos in Chapter 1. All right, my friends, let's move on to number 5. Speaking of Tifu, where did Tifu place in the World Cup Solo Finals? A. 19th B. 31st C. 67th or D. 82nd You guys got 5 seconds. The answer to this question is C, 67th place. All right, so to be completely honest here, you know, most of us expected Tifu to place a bit higher, but you know what? Things happen, it's life, right? Luckily, Tifu did manage to keep his head up and keep grinding, placing pretty well in the FNCS trios and squads. So we're still super excited just to see how he does in the future. All right, my friends, let's move on to number six. Who got first place in the solo Fortnite World Cup? A, Dubs, hmm. B, Bizzle, C, Night Rocks, or D, Booga. Five seconds to decide. The answer is, as most of us already know, is D, which is my boy, Booga. Booga was honestly like a really low key player into the World Cup, and most of us did not expect this guy to pop off, man, and literally destroy the entire competition, almost doubling the points that second place had. Booga played absolutely crazy that day, and he's still performing pretty high today as well. Number seven is, you know, another question about Booga, all right? In which week did Booga first qualify for the solo World Cup? All right, guys, A, week one, B, week three, C, week seven, or D, week nine? You guys got five seconds to decide, but you gotta be careful on this one. All right, the answer is A, week one. Yeah, that's right. Booga was like one of the first players to qualify for the World Cup on the NA East, man. And he did so in dominating fashion, may I add. Grabbing first place and absolutely stumping the competition. Somehow, someway, even after all of this, not many people expected him to pop off like he did in the finals, but he proved all of us wrong. All right, guys, so continuing with World Cup with number eight, all right? Which one of these players qualified in the first week of the World Cup qualifiers? A, all right, we got clicks. B, we got Zayt. C, we got Psalm. And D, we got Bizzle. This question is really, really difficult, guys. You gotta take your time on this one. Pause the video if you even need to, you know what I mean? We're gonna give you guys five seconds if you decide not to pause it. All right, guys, I need to drum up for this one. The answer is D, Bizzle. So Bizzle was like another player under the radar, you know, for a while during qualifier. Since he qualified on East in week one and then sort of like messed around for the rest of the weeks, even playing one week with no weapons to show how OP ballers were. Overall, man, Bizzle is still an insane player. And we just think, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot of him in the future. The next question fits very well with number nine. The question is, which one of these locations was added in season nine of chapter one? A, we got Neil Tilted. B, we got Dusty Depot. C, we got Volcano and Lazy Lagoon. And D, we got none of the above. Oh, we had to trick you guys on that one. <laughs> All right, like usual, you know, we're gonna give you guys five seconds to answer. This is a little harder because we got none of the above on this one. The answer to this one is... Uh-oh. A, Neo Tilted, along with Mega Maw, both of these, you know, futuristic locations. These followed the Volcano event at the end of Season 8, where the Volcano blew up and destroyed both Tilted and Retail. At the start of the new season, both of these locations were introduced with brand new slipstreams. And finally, the notorious Pump Shotgun Vaulting. Season 9, you know, was a bit of a wreck at the start, <laughs> but it did end up, you know, being pretty good toward the end. All right, guys, this question is a pretty interesting one. And those of you, you know, who follow competitive back in the World Cup days might know this one. Which one of these players were accused of using soft aimbot in World Cup qualifiers? A, we have unknown X army. B, we got Tifu. C, we got dubs. And D, we got Cease. Five seconds to answer. The answer is C, dubs. 
Dubs first started dominating competitive like crazy during the World Cup, and his style of aiming was really unique and pretty much unseen, man. You know, with a lot of evidence that seemed almost certainly true, Dubs received giant backlash from the community. But after an investigation by Epic and an explanation from Dubs, it turned out that he didn't cheat and just had, you know, a really darn good aim. Oh my God, my favorite word, darn. Just said it. Just imagine, okay, that your aim is so good that the entire community accuses you of cheating. You gotta be good. That must have been pretty flattering for dubs. All right, guys, 11. Let's move on to the current chapter, chapter two, and discuss some of the changes. All right, so which one of these changes did not occur on the chapter two update? A, we have new map. B, we got streamlined loot pool. Or C, we have increased farm rate. Or D, addition of fishing. Five seconds to answer. All right, guys, the answer to this one is C, increased farm rate. The farm rate was not changed in chapter two. While the new map streamline, loot pool, and the addition of the fishing mechanic were all major changes that pretty much changed the entire feel of the game. Our last question, number 12, relates to the chapter two competitive scene. All right, so which one of these players' squads got first place in the FNCS squad grand finals on the NA East region? All right, we got A, we got Tifu squad. B, we got Zex Rose Squad. C, we have Unknown Squad. Or D, we got Zate Squad. Five seconds to answer. The answer is C, Unknown Squad. All right, so the squad of Unknown, Avery, Kez, you know, and Renato was one of the most dominant squads in the first season of Chapter 2 and ended up grabbing first place with 89 points during the grand finals. All right, so GG's only to them. You know, they were honestly an insane squad and, you know, we wouldn't be surprised to see them playing again if there are many more squad tournaments coming out soon. Bonus question, yeah. All right, guys, so we know some of these questions were really difficult. So we're gonna give you guys one more chance to get an extra point. We love you. If you get this question right, add one point to your score. Man, we're so nice. If you get it wrong, then it doesn't count as a missed question. So, you know, just don't add anything to your score, all right? The question is, which one of these duos got first place with 159 points in week six of the World Cup qualifiers on Oceanic servers? A, we got Serpent and Hype. B, we got Souls Man and Cat. We have C, we have Cover H and Twiz. And D, we got Parpy and Volks. We never said we we're gonna make it easy for you, all right? <laughs> Take five seconds to decide and we're gonna see which one it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the answer is D, Parpy and Volks. Honestly, you know, these two put an absolute clinic that week, man, and 100% deserve that trip to New York. If you got this question right, then add one extra point to your score out of the 12. If not, you better not change a thing. Anyways, guys, this quiz is all over. If you managed to get nine questions or more correct, then congratulations. You passed the test and you truly do know a ton about Fortnite. If you got six to eight correct, you have a pretty good knowledge, but aren't quite a complete master of all the things Fortnite just yet. And if you got five or less correct, we're sorry, we love you, we really do, but you failed, okay? You most likely don't keep up with the competitive scene much or haven't really been playing very long, but we still love you. Not to worry though, because if you keep practicing and learning new things, you're gonna end up passing the next quiz video that we do, all right? All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, so if you got nine or more correct, congrats to you. You clearly know a lot about the game. Let us know down in the comments which questions you got wrong or even found difficult. Along with that, you know, let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel. Remember that we read every single comment and we consider every single idea. We really do. So if you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it a ton, a bunch, a bunch of crunch. If you can like, consider subscribing and also share this video, with a couple of your friends, all right? Spread the word. We got so much going on on this channel. We'll see you next time.